Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing a distro that is based on Lubuntu. This Lubuntu based distro is called LXLE. Uh, reading from their webpage here, a little blurb on their webpage. LXLE is light on resources and heavy on function. It's always based on the Ubuntu slash Lubuntu LTS. So it is based on the LTS version of Ubuntu, which is uh, 1604. Uh, a matter of fact, the LXLE version I'm reviewing today was just released uh, about a week ago. It is version 16.04.3, so it follows the same naming scheme as the Ubuntu LTS point releases. LXLE uses the LXDE desktop environment. Uh, prudent, full-featured apps are pre-installed, latest stable versions of all major apps, added PPAs, extend available hardware. So I'm guessing it has some PPAs installed by default. Uh, that's kind of cool. Expose, AeroSnap, Quick Launch apps, uh, 100 gorgeous wallpapers installed mm, by default. That's, that's pretty cool. So it's basically Lubuntu with some more stuff involved, with some more stuff already installed for you. So let's give it a shot. I'm going to install it inside a virtual machine. I'm going to install it inside VirtualBox today. Okay, guys, so I've downloaded the ISO and I've loaded it up inside VirtualBox. And I am going to boot into the live environment. It may take a little time to boot into the live environment. A lot of times these ISOs run a lot slower than uh, what LXLE will run once we actually have it installed. Okay, looks like we've got to a live environment, a very small screen resolution in this live environment. I guess the virtual box guest editions are not working, you know, inside the live environment. But we'll worry about that uh, once we get get LXLE installed. I'll work on getting the virtual box guest editions working for the review. I'm going to click on install LXLE Linux. And we come to a familiar installer. It looks like they're using the standard Ubuntu installer, which is called Ubiquity. It has already chosen English as the language. I'm going to click Continue. Preparing to install LXLE. Do we want to download updates while installing LXLE? Uh, I'll take this on because there shouldn't be but a few updates. Uh, this version of LXLE was just released a few days ago. Install third-party software for graphics and Wi-Fi, Flash, MP3, other media. Yeah, I'm definitely going to tick that one on. That's going to install our multimedia codecs, proprietary video drivers, uh, VirtualBox guest editions. I'm going to click Continue. And installation type. This is a virtual machine, so I'm going to erase the disk and give LXLE the entire 15 gig hard drive of this virtual machine I created for it. For those of you that need to do some manual partitioning, you would need to choose something else here and run through the manual partitioning. I'm just going to erase disk and install LXLE, so click install now. All right, we get our little warning screen here. Basically, it's about to format the drive right to the disk. It's going to create an extended four file system on SDA. It's also going to create a swap. I'm going to continue. All right, time zone. It has chosen Chicago in the U.S. That is the central time zone in the U.S., which is correct for me. So I'm, I just need to click continue here. Keyboard layout. It has chosen English U.S., which is correct. But we have this test field that we can type a little something in just to make sure the keyboard is working as we expect it to work. And click continue. All right, we need to create our user. So I'm just going to use LXLE as our user. LXLE and then I need to give it a password. And it's got login automatically not ticked on by default. And that's how I want it. I want to be asked for a password when I log in. Uh, it also has options to encrypt your home folder. I don't like encrypting my home folder, but for those of you that want to do that, it's there to tick on. All right, it looks like the installation is beginning. It's copying files. Uh, I don't know why we don't have anything in this screen here. Usually there's a little slideshow. There it comes. 
So it took a few seconds for the little slideshow to pop up. But I'm going to let the install run. It's probably going to run somewhere between 5 and 10 minutes. And afterwards, I'll be back. Okay, guys, the install has finished. It probably took, I don't know, about 10 minutes or so for the install to run. It probably would have run uh, quite a bit quicker had I not chosen to also run the updates and install the third-party software. But now we need to reboot the machine, and I'm going to do that now. All right, and I've restarted this virtual machine. Now we should boot up into our freshly installed LXLE version 16.04.3. Let's see how long it takes to get to a login manager. Wow, that was really fast. I mean, it took maybe five seconds to get to this login manager. Really fast boot up time. And we get a little sound notification when we first log into LXDE here. This is the LXDE desktop environment. I'm going to pause the video for a minute or two. I need to get the VirtualBox guest editions going so I can make this full screen to do a proper review. Okay guys, I'm back. It took me a, a couple of minutes to get the VirtualBox guest editions installed inside VirtualBox here so I can get this full screen. I, I will tell you guys, if you guys are going to test this out in VirtualBox to get the guest editions working, uh, you need a package called GCC installed on your system. It's one of the dependencies for the VirtualBox guest editions. It's not installed on LXLE by default. You need to install that to get the guest editions working. My initial impressions is this is a really nice desktop, really gorgeous LXDE desktop. Uh, your standard two panel desktop, a panel at the top, a panel at the bottom. I'm assuming the panel at the bottom when we open programs. Let me open up uh, let me open up a terminal here. Yeah, this is our taskbar here at the bottom, you know, where we can minimize, maximize, uh, uh, minimize, unminimize our, our windows. The top panel here has some uh, as our calendar, time and date, uh, our system tray, some quick launchers, and of course the LXDE menu. I notice there is this plus symbol in the bottom on this uh, taskbar at the bottom here. When you click it, it is an application, launch bar, and taskbar. Okay, I guess maybe this uh, edits this bar at the bottom. That's pretty cool. All right, so I'm going to do my standard review here. I'm going to go through the LXDE menu at the top and show you the programs that are installed by default on LXLE. We have our file manager, of course. The file manager is the standard LXDE file manager, which is called PCMAN FM. All right, also under accessories, we have our calculator, which is Galculator. We have LXLE help. We have paper rotator, which is our wallpaper changer. I guess it will uh, randomly rotate, uh, cycle through your wallpapers. Uh, Parcelite, which is our clipboard manager. Pluma, which is our text editor. I don't know anything about Pluma, but it is a small and lightweight text editor. Uh, it was created for the Mate desktop. Okay, that's really cool. All right, we also have random wallpaper. We have our screenshot utility. We have a weather app. We have XPad jot down notes for later so that's another uh, note taking app audio video we have the Arista transcoder we have Audacity let me launch Audacity it took a few seconds to launch but you know it's standard uh, audio editing program and then we have the Guaya Deck music player I don't know too much about the Guaya Deck music player I've never looked at it I hear good things about it it's a fully uh, functional you know pretty uh, fully functional audio player similar to something like rhythm box more so than not really minimal uh, audio players so pretty cool alright we have our open shot video editor hmm, that's cool that they have a audio editor and a video editor on the ISO we have the parole media player which is our standard you know video player we also have simple screen recorder which is record your desktop. That's actually what I'm using right now to record this video. It's recording my desktop, which has this virtual machine running on it. XF Burn, which is XFCE's disk burning utility. Pretty good disk burning utility. Under Education, we have Granule, LibreOffice Math, and Marble, which is uh, navigation and maps. Under Games, we have a few, you know, little Linux games here such as Solitaire, Chess, Hearts, Mahjong. 
Under graphics, we have our document viewer, font manager, we have GIMP, which is the GNU image manipulation program. Really nice uh, free and open source alternative to something like Adobe Photoshop. We have LibreOffice Draw again. We have Mirage, which is a GTK Plus image viewer. Photo print. We have the Shotwell uh, Photo Manager. Simple image reducer. Uh, that reduces and rotates images in three or four clicks, so it's another kind of image editor. Simple Scan, which is a scanning utility. Under Internet, we have Chatzilla, which is our IRC client here. We launched that. I've never uh, launched Chatzilla before. I don't know much about it, but if you've seen one IRC chat client, you've seen them all. They all function very similarly. Uh, we also have Fire FTP. An FTP program, that's you know, another odd choice to put on the ISO. How many people really need an FTP client? But get so connect to other connect to others using VNC protocol. Okay. Linphone. That is our web phone app. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Yeah, that's not bad. I kinda like that they added that. We have mail slash news. What is this? Mail slash news. It is Okay, it's part of a uh, C monkey, so it's our email slash, uh, I guess Usenet client here. All right, we have the Mozilla build of C monkey. We have Pigeon, which is an internet messenger program. We have Transmission, which is our BitTorrent client. It's the standard uh, BitTorrent client you see in the GNOME desktop environment. We have UGit, which downloads multiple URLs and apply it to one setting queue. I'm not sure what that means. Let's see. It is a download manager. Okay, that's pretty cool. Get rid of that. Also under Office we have Addresses, Calendar, Character Map, Composer. That is a HTML editor, Composer. Dictionary, Ebook Reader, Home Bank, and then a couple of the LibreOffice programs. We have Calc, Impress, and Writer. And we have our Control Menu, which has uh, accessibility options, some hardware options, security. We have our settings menu here to, you know, configure uh, look and feel, desktop preferences, the light DM uh, login greeter, our uh, menu settings, open box settings, power settings. We have some Samba stuff we can do here. Time and date, window effects. Under software, we have check and install updates. Let's go ahead and launch the updater so you can see the graphical updater here. Of course, for a graphical updater, it looks like it launches in a terminal. Okay. So basically, it just runs the update in a terminal for you, except you didn't have to type the terminal command. That's actually pretty cool. And it, it, there shouldn't be anything to update since I've already updated the program when I installed. It is removing unneeded packages. Okay, I guess it's also running like the sudo apt auto remove command to. to. Anyway, I'm going to let that do its thing. No need to watch that. Also, under software, we have the GDB package installer. That is to install .deb packages. We have the Lubuntu Software Center, which not sure what the Lubuntu Software Center is going to be. It looks like a very simple, easy to use software center. We have these icons and categories here, so if I want to look around, I can choose, say, audio and video. And then we have this list of, very long list of audio and video programs that we could install. So, pretty cool graphical installer. Also, had a search field where we could search. Also, under software, we have the Synaptic Package Manager. The Synaptic Package Manager is a really nice, really fully functional uh, package manager, if you will, where we can, you know, sync the repos, uh, upgrade, uh, install, remove software. It also has options for your sources for adding, removing repos, PPAs, that sort of thing. Synaptic's great. Okay, also in the menu, the last thing you see is run, search, and then the shutdown uh, menu here. Run is a run command prompt, so you can give it any kind of like you know command line uh, command, or you could launch a program with it. Say I wanted to launch 
Hmm. How about PC Man FM, our file manager? You hit, type that, hit enter, and that launches PC Man FM. Pretty cool that they have that in the menu here. At the top of the screen, we have our clock. I click on that, and it lets us change some of the settings for the clock. In the center, you have uh, the weather. I click on that, it launches the weather app. That's pretty cool, actually. I really like that. I mean, for I haven't seen that in any other LXDE environments. That's really nice. Um, under the date, you know, it launches our little calendar here. The uh, LXLE webpage claimed that they had about a hundred wallpapers installed by default. Let me see if I can find where the wallpapers are. Uh, not seeing them here. Okay, let me change this folder. I want to go to my home folder. And it's probably going to be in pictures. Yeah, there's a folder in your pictures folder called wallpapers. And they indeed have a lot of wallpapers installed by default. This is pretty dang cool. Uh, let me just, and they're actually really gorgeous wallpapers too. These are some really nice wallpapers. I know you guys probably can't see it on the video because the little preview is small. So let me just go ahead and select one. I mean, really, really nice looking wallpaper. Anyway, I could sit around here and play with the wallpapers all day. Uh, what are my initial thoughts on LXLE? I've never actually used LXLE before. Uh, install your standard Ubuntu slash Lubuntu installer. It gets an A plus every time, very quick, very easy. Uh, the actual de desktop is the LXDE desktop. It gets an A. You know, LXDE is an awesome, minimal, lightweight desktop environment. They're using the open box window manager. I love the open box window manager. Very lightweight, very fast uh, window manager. I like their file manager that they're using, PC Man FM. The desktop is clean very sharp looking. I love the fact they include so many default wallpapers. Uh, overall, I give LX LE a big thumbs up. Again, based on Ubuntu's long-term support release, so it should be a very stable distro. Check it out, guys. Peace.